Week 5 pickups. Bum, 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 bum. YouTube is it going. The Goat House is back. And it's a beautiful day for some pickups. We're here every Tuesday night picking every single NFL game. Here is the leaderboard. Down, I'm over in your screen. Down here, if you're keeping track. And then the subs league down here. Not too late to join because the best score of each week, not on the year, of each week, gets their picks in our next video. So the week four winner, Jack Ristrom, he's a guest picker today. But a special announcement for you guys. That's right. So at the Goat House here, we have what we call the Goat House Hall of Fame. And what the Hall of Fame is, there is no playbook on how to get into the Hall of Fame. Yet we have had two Hall of Famers in the history of the Goat House. And the first Hall of Famer getting this nice little jersey here, number one. Look at that patch. This is our friend, the Anstronaut. He already knew he was a Hall of Famer. He knew he was a Hall of Famer. He's the first inductee. Uh, but we have a special announcement tonight. We're actually announcing the second Hall of Famer. He doesn't know he's a Hall of he Famer He doesn't yet. even know. Number two is going to be Mr. Cam Sullivan. Let's go. Welcome to the Goat House, Goat House Hall of Fame. And I think there's, there's, it's tough. It's difficult to get in the Hall of Fame. It took answering out a bit. Great work in the Goat House community. Mm -hmm. Cam Sullivan basically made a video for us in the off season. Been a, these guys have been supporting us for a long time, so we appreciate them very much. There'll be more inductees, but it is a little difficult. But we got our eyes on some candidates there. But um, yeah, one more clap it up for them. One more clap. Yeah, it clap up it up. Them. Clap it up. I'm excited for the picks, though. Let's get into those damn picks here. Oh, Thursday night. Football. We're in those picks. We're in, we're those, in those picks. picks. Oh, yeah, I've been saying that every week. I messed it up. Did we restart? No, right. no, no, we're good. Keep going. Buccaneers at Falcons. Oh, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good. Falcons, two weeks in a row wearing throwbacks. Little mm, that's red, red helmets last week. And now the all black, I believe, this week oh. here for uh, so who wants to start us off? Nothing. I'm going to take the Falcons at home. This is going to be a great game. This is going to be a great game. It was really tough. I think I just got to go with. Uh, I always, I mean, I always ride with the home team on these kind of closer ones, but I, it's gonna be, t I mean, it's gonna be a great game. This might be a squeaker of the week, high scoring squeaker of the week. Okay, I Give think it'll those, be high scoring as well. Bucks. Pete's taking the box. Yeah, I'm in last. Gotta catch up somehow. I, but the Bucks looked really good on Sunday. I know the Eagles were banged up, but the Bucks were a little banged up too. Hopefully, they get some guys back. <laughs> On the short, they week. got some guys. They got some. That's the first time I've dropped that this year. But Baker's been playing hot. Ooh, spicy, hot and heavy, spicy. Mm. Bucky Irvin, getting Bucky Irvin going. I like. Watch that. out for Bucky. Um. All right. What is? What's everyone else got? What does Yeller got? He's got the Bucks. Yeller's joining Pete with the Bucks. Jack's got the Falcons. Ooh, welcome, Jack. Welcome. Jack. Jack. He's a Lions guy. I take it. He won Week Four, so his picks are in the game. They're in the in the video this week. We'll see who joins us next week. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got to go old fashioned split. I did end up switching to the Bucks last week just because the I thought it was pretty obvious because the injuries of the Eagles and they took care of business. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to know about some injuries, but a short week. I still think both these teams are going to be missing some guys. Caleb McGarry com could come back here for the Falcons. I'm going to go with Atlanta at home. I'm, I'm going to take the Falcons at home here. So we got a good old-fashioned split, but three of us on the Falcons. The Falcons look pretty good at home in prime time against the Chiefs. So I think they uh, get going offensively in this one as well. Again, Junior said it could be a shootout. I think we could see some offense in this game. Especially with the, the Buccaneers' defense is beat up. You know, Winfield expected to be out still. So Kirk Cousins should be able to do some things through the air in that game. And, yeah, I mean, the Bucks. Took advantage of the Eagles being one-dimensional, like only a, you know, a run-only team without those star receivers. Falcons are going to be two-dimensional in this game, but the Buccaneers' offense should should keep up and be fine. I'm just going to um, – home team gets that advantage here. I'm going to take the Falcons. So got a good old-fashioned split, 3-2. to two. And a reminder that the next video will be my picks against the spread and score predictions every single Wednesday. So join us for that. London football. The Jets, who are coming off a disappointing loss – to the Broncos, and the Vikings, who might be the best team in football right now, a little, a little surprising there. They're at, uh, they're in, they're both. I would say they're at home. No, they're both in London for this one. Anything can happen in London. A lot of the Vikings fans. Let me get to this here. A lot of Vikings fans giving me some shit in the comments when I pick against them. You know, that's not really what determines a fan if you pick them or not. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, because you picked the Bears yeah, every week. Yeah, whoa. I and picked the Titans every week so far. It's been let not, the, not going that's well. not going well. I hey, hope you don't mind it. You're putting it out. That thing is nice. With the, the stitching is nice on that Show thing. off that sleeve right there. <laughs> oh, it's the other side. Sorry, it's reversed. 
Look at that. Stitched. That's let the authentic. record. Let the record show I did end up picking the Vikings last week because Jordan Love shows up with a knee brace and Jair Alexander was out pretty big going against those Vikings receivers. So, uh, but That's yeah, nice. the anything could happen in this nice, one. Junior. You get to keep interrupting me. Uh, <laughs> anything can happen in this one. I'm going to go with the Vikings in London. The better team right now doesn't necessarily mean they're going to win. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, Rodgers getting beat up in that in that last game, and, is, and now he's got to go travel to London against a, you know, a fast defense with a pretty solid pass rush. So, uh, for that reason, I think that kind of sides with the Vikings, but obviously their offense is playing very well. And the Jets' defense, it's definitely good. It's definitely really good, but it doesn't really feel like what we expected, like that elite defense from, the, from last year. Or maybe you don't call it elite last year, but and the Vikings got the advantage. But again, going to London, it's just about which team shows up, which team's more prepared after after long travels there. So Jersey looks good, by the way. Thank you. Um, revenge game, Sam Darnold. Revenge Sam game, Darnold. Sam Darnold. Yeah, Sam Darnold. Give me Darnie in the revenge game. I love it. Vikings are hot. That, hot jer- that, that jersey's hot over I, there. I know. Um, it's one of two over there. One of two. Yeah, we don't hand out those things like they're nothing. They're not. They're not golden jackets. They're That's not, right. They're not gold jackets. Not they're, yet, at least. No. Oh. This is tough because uh, I feel like the Vikings are due, and um, I'm gonna go with the Jets. Give me another Ooh. upset alert. Give me a little upset alert action. Uh, that's, that's a good upset right. to pick in London. Yeah, Anything weird things can happen. happen. Anything can happen. Tied up with you after the first two. Here Shut we go. up. Here we go. Yeller got the Vikings. He's got the Vikings. Jack's got the Jets. Ooh-wee. I feel like, you know, not that it really. He's got the Jets. He's got the Jets. <laughs> there you Thank go. you. I was getting out of my next throw. Damn thought. graphics guy. Graphics guy picking it up. He has been picking it up, though. The mm-hmm. edits have been clean. But another point, which doesn't matter a ton, but Vikings seem to win in London, if I'm remembering. You know, based off the past years, they had a squeaker with the Saints, they I just recall. They're grass. They're going to play in grass again. Yeah, yeah, they're fine. They're, 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 you know, I think they're better than the Jets, but it's not what it's always about there. But they're looking good. Can't let those comebacks happen. That was a little scary. They're allowing those to happen. But the Vikings fans can stop getting on me. And, again, I did end up picking them last week. I thought – I usually hesitate to switch picks, but I thought – Love showing up with a brace and Alexander being out. I was like, okay, we're going Vikings in this one. And, and they almost blew it, but they held on here. But, uh, yeah, let's see if they can keep it going. <laughs> I don't know what you're up to over there. Uh, Slight of hand action. Good old-fashioned split. The Jets are going to have to pick it up here. Keep hearing Rodgers is fine, but he's a little, like, banged up after that last one. Is it going to carry over to London? We will see. Oh, we got an AFC North battle. The Ravens coming off a big-time victory against the Buffalo Bills, and the Bengals got their first victory, but they've been playing better ball. Three games straight, they could have won. Off Offense is doing enough. Let me tell you something. Typically, typically the Bengals, Joe Burrow, they win this game. They win this game. You're, you're no double-bagging it. He's double-bagging hey, it, folks. Camp Sullivan, sorry, brother. Got to wear this one, too. I don't know if they appreciate you. They don't care. I'm just giving it a test run. You're not going to buy a car without giving it a test drive. Okay. Yeah, but it's not yours. You're not <laughs> buying it. I'm testing it for them. They're, All right, continue. Yeah, yeah. Both. We both. still got to get some of those. Those guys are getting those before we are. That's right. And I'm a big fan once they came in. I wasn't sure how they were going to turn it, turn out, but I'm a huge – there you go, Cam Newton. Um, all right, distracted once Sorry. again, once again. But typically, with Joe Burrow, the Bengals at home beat the Ravens. They won three out of the last four, not a ton. But typically, typically, t- typically the Bengals' defense is pretty good. Right now, it is not specifically against the run, even though it's in Cincinnati and the Bengals' offense could do some damage in this game. I'm going to take that dominant Ravens' run game. They they weren't really full go the first couple weeks. They were trying to throw a little bit more than they should have, and they kind of went back to it in the Cowboys game, and then we saw it in the Bills game. Take advantage of teams' weaknesses, especially what you, where, you, where you're great, you know, running the football. So they'll control the clock. They'll move the ball just like the Bills. And they're not going to beat their ass like the Bills game, but similar to the Bills game where they controlled the game. But I will say if the Bengals' key to winning this game, got to go fast. Get the ball first. We ideal and if you get like a 10 point lead in this game a two score lead the Bengals are in business uh, you know because I do trust their offense the only way they get be- if they get behind and the Ravens control the clock on the ground they're going to lose the game but I'm going to trust the Ravens to control this game um, you know even though Cincinnati seems to win these ones at home should be a good one folks I'm taking the Ravens as well I think that 
I mean, I, I, I was confident with that Bills pick, but I, it just feels like – I was extremely confident with the Ravens pick. It feels pick. like the Ravens have flipped the switch. What's going on with this hair right now? You're good, you're good. I'm so, good. these Ravens, it's just – it's wild. It feels like every offensive <laughs> play is just a positive <laughs> – we're gonna keep that. Yeah, that no, looks nice. You look like Alfalfa. <laughs> Alfalfa looks like, no, it looks like Jimmy Neutron right now. Brain blast. There yeah. we go. Jimmy Neutron. As long as I, we'll see, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> uh, at one point, I'm gonna look at myself again because I'm trying to look at the camera, but I'm gonna look look down there and we're like, okay, I look like a yeah, yeah no, you're good. Putt, so. You're good. You're good. You're I'm good. good. All right, Pete, Pete Farway. I mean, Derrick Henry. I'm like, how how dare Harbaugh not give him one more carry for two hundred? Yeah, what the? What was that? Would have been the all time leading. Uh, Rusher to have, uh, what do you have? Seven, you would have had seven 200 yard games. It would have been at the top alone by himself. Now he's still tied with Peterson All right, sorry. and OJ. <laughs> it's not going to work. OJ? Yeah. Where is Derrick Henry a top 10 running back all time? Yeah. Yeah. He's Who? a Hall of Famer instantly. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me your top three running backs all time. Um,. I mean, put you on the spot. I don't know. I mean, it's just tough because I didn't get to watch like Walter Payton or anyone like that. Like before, back like, in my day, before I'm then. I'm but kidding. like me, like personally, like like who I've witnessed play, I would say Peterson's probably number one. If you're just if talent you're, wise, yeah. If you're going off pure raw talent, nobody is better than Adrian Peter. You go Vikings fans. Some go, optimistic stuff. Maybe I'm biased. I'd go Peterson. I'd go Henry. And I'd go Ladanian Tomlinson. I did love me some Tomlinson. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'd go with, though. If you want to go with some oldies, Barry Sanders, pure, raw skill. Uh, Eric Dickerson, possibly. Uh, All right, we're getting off topic. But Derrick Henry deserves to be in the conversation. Maybe that's slightly bold. I don't know. Emmett Smith, given how long he lasted with with all those carries, unheard of. So got to give Emmett Smith some love. Uh, But I'm surprised no one's gone gone Bengals yet. Is anybody going Bengals at all? No. No. I thought I was being not really bold, but maybe a uh, – because the Bengals typically win they this beat game. the Panthers, though. No, but they this is where they get going. Jack, Jack's taking the Ravens. Good old Jack. Yeah. Jackie, Jackie boy. boy. Jack's riding the Ravens. He's riding the Ravens. Okay. Uh, the Bengals typically – you know, the trends are – Working this year, like the Vikings. I talk about the Vikings. All, the Purdy can't beat the Vikings. The Vikings never lost to the Texans. The Bills always beat the Dolphins. The Raiders always beat the Browns. That actually happened last week without star players. There's several more that I'm already forgetting. Like they, they it just keep uh, the Seahawks typically beat the Lions. So the Lions helped us out here. Feels me, feel, feels me, feels a little more comfortable. Feels me, feels me up. Uh, oh. uh, always sun. Another always sunny reference there. I'll keep dropping those. But uh, all right, I'm just gonna shut up. Ravens. Ravens. I'm Ravens. shocked. I thought about Clean it, sweep. but what? Clean sweep. Clean sweep, man. I didn't watch it. We could all look. No, don't. No, it's guaranteed. <laughs> it's guaranteed. Uh, all right. Oh, oh, alternate unis. Brand new H Town alternate unis coming out to play for those Houston Texans. It's it's and Pete's got the Oilers gear on at the same time. Yes, yeah, the Titan stuff. Yeah, yeah, and that's kind of what they're going for. They're not allowed they're to trying. go. They're trying a little bit. This is a good one, guys. This is good. Bills, Texans. Oh, that's good. Bills coming off a tough loss against the Ravens, but they could get back on track. Texans offense seems to be a lot better at home. They're home in this game. They're wearing some fresh alternates. It is a Stefan. Diggs revenge game. We get a Darnold revenge game and a Diggs revenge game in the same week. Jesus, wow. we Lovely. love the Vikings here. We look, do we? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, okay. Pete, oh, this is tough. It's a tough one. Hey, I, I don't know. I mean, one bad thing about both these teams. There's one bad thing about both these teams, what and, they, is and it? it's the same thing. They neither could stop the run. They both are really struggling to stop the run. The Bills, I knew that about the Bills. It just didn't really show yet until last week, and it, it's there. It's a thing. And the Texans, you yeah, know, was kind of the one thing they messed up on in the in the off season. They the interior D line group got worse on paper at least, and it's and it's showing right now. So, uh, and these are two teams that could potentially run the ball. Uh, we know Josh Allen can run it. We know James Cook can run it. Joe Mixon is Joe Mixon playing in this That's game, a big and that is where I'm at. This game being in Houston, CJ Shroud has been lights out in his young career looking at both years at home. And the Bills pass defense has looked really good, but have they seen this Houston Texans in Houston? It's a difference in Houston 
this passing offense with these weapons and CJ Stroud, they haven't. I need Joe Mixon to play. If Joe Mixon's playing, I'm taking the Texans. If Joe Mixon is not just like that, Joe Mixon's not playing, I'm going Bills. I think the Texans do make – both teams will make plays through the air, but it's going to be all about the running game in this one. And I'm going to trust Houston at home unless they do not have their star running back. I don't trust Akers uh, to out James James Cook and uh, Josh Allen in this one, which, I mean, they can do enough to, to win the game. But – uh, yeah, just another tough challenge for the Bills. They haven't had a ton of tough challenges yet, but I'm not one of those people like, oh, they haven't played anybody, so they stink. No, no not even close. But uh, Mixon, Texans, no Mixon, Bills. That's where I'm at. Give me the Bills. He's taking the, the Bills. Bills bounce back. We've got some different picks this week. Bills I'm surprised back. everyone's on the Ravens. Yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, both teams. I know the Texans. They, they, uh, <laughs> they've been kind of uh, disappointing the past – Couple weeks, I guess this season really. Who did you, did you take the I'm Bills? I'm trying to. I'm, no, I'm just. I'm just thinking right you now. Spitballing? Yeah. We'll put you right. Who in the they? Middle. Who they play week two? I can't even think. Texans. Who? Uh, Bears. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Pete. They nothing. Were, nothing like it's been. Yeah, like, they haven't really impressed. Yeah, I mean yeah. they. The, the I mean the fourth game, quarter in the Jags game was pretty impressive. Yeah. But. Uh man. I'm gonna go with the Bills right now. I'm not sure though. It's gonna be tough. I mean. Digs in those alternates? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna go with the Bills. I just think Dick's got the back. game plan on this defense. He's got it. He does, but you're trying to convince me over here. <laughs> I mean, if Mixon doesn't play, I'm gonna go with yeah. you. And I could still I, the Texans could still win even if Mixon doesn't play. I'm not gonna say it's guaranteed, but I just not that comfortable. It's a me. Mixon's really good. We saw him fully saw him fully healthy in Week One. He went crazy. It was the only only full game we saw him fully healthy. Um, but without him, it's a major difference. So uh, I would I would. Probably go Bills. Just give me the Bills here. Yeller? Bills? Jack's got the Bills, too. Oh, my God. You know what happens when I'm by myself. Uh, I was by myself with the Eagles last week, but I did say in the video, if those receivers don't play, I'm taking the Bucks, and I end up going at the Bucks because that and Lane Johnson was out. To me, it was a no-brainer. Uh, the Bucks won that one, so that was actually not a lone wolf. We had the Ravens, the Eagles the week before against the Saints, and the Ravens on Sunday night last week, so we're – Two and zero, oh, I believe, on the lone wolves, and I think I had the Eagles over the Saints. Did you? Oh, you switched because yeah. I was lone wolf. Anyone want to join me over here? No. Nope. If Mixon plays, anyone wants Maybe. to join me? Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. I think the Bills are favored by one, so I mean, I could miss that one. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident if Mixon plays. That's going to be a good one, folks. Cannot wait. That's one I cannot wait for. I'm glad that, oh, 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 the Liquid IV Game of the Week code GOAT for 20% off. They're always got new flavors. The Panthers versus Pamp the hometown Chicago Bears. If you haven't figured it out, we are in Chicago. Uh, Danny had a sod report on Twitter before last game. He'll be there again, I'd imagine, this week. Um, so follow us on Twitter. I follow. I think that's the difference and. In this For that game. reason, yeah, yeah I mean the Bears are undefeated at home. It's true. Got that advantage with that sod over there. That what is it? It's Bermuda. Mm. That Bermuda sod. I got a fun fact for you. Once you're done talking, give me those before Junior starts talking. Bears. Last year, well, at first, as you guys know, Junior picks the Bears. Diehard fan every single week. That's what he's rolling with. But there was one week last year where he did not pick the Bears. <laughs> he was forced to pick the Panthers to beat the Bears last that's year. That's right. I forgot why. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember why either. But he had no choice, and then, of course, that week the Bears won, so that kind of screwed him. But this week, those rules do not apply. You know he's taking the Bears. And Danny, I got a text from him. He's also you talk taking to Dan. the Bears every day. He's okay. taking the Bears. Um, I'm, like you said, I'm really hoping for another sod report. This is a revenge game, DJ Moore. DJ Moore revenge game. A lot game. of revenge games this week. Uh, what's uh, the guest going with, Mr. Jack? He's got the – I can't find it. He's got the Bears. Ooh. Jackie boy. Lions guy taking the Bears. Yeller, I swear. Yeller's God. got the Panthers. No, he does not. He, he does, does and he Panthers. said, sorry, Ray. No. Junior's Ray. Not accepted. Not accepted? Okay, he took the Panthers. <laughs> I mean, the Panthers are a little I, – I, <laughs> Andy, Andy Dalton revenge game. <laughs> Andy Dalton revenge game. DJ Moore revenge game. I actually Andy forgot Dalton. something. I actually swear to God, I actually did talk to Dan today. I think you're full of shit. I, I talk, didn't actually talk yeah, to Dan. Yeah, I talked to Dan. He is scared about this game. This, he's like, this is a total Bears loss. I'm like, yeah, they're at home. No, that's good. He's like, yeah. that is huge. But he just, he's a little nervous about this one. Just for, He feels 
like it's a trap game against the Panthers. It's one they would lose. But he is rolling with the Bears. We know he's rolling with the Bears. Uh, I the Panthers are a little. This is this is not Bryce Young's Panthers. It's Andy Dalton's Panthers. Mm. He's out for revenge. They're a little sneaky. They're putting up points. They're putting up some production on offense. The the two weeks with Andy Dalton in there. Uh, I, uh, this is a little bit of a bad matchup, Jim. It's a little bit Jim. of a bad matchup. I I think they could win the game. I'm gonna go with the Bears. The Bears are playing in. Chi- I was gonna say the Bears are different at home. I actually think it's the other team most of the time. The, yeah. The other team is different anywhere else versus playing on Sloppy Soldier Field. It's, it's tough. Not sloppy no more. It's sloppy. I don't know. We'll get the sod report. He said it was looking good. They were, but they're throwing so much sod and s- sod sand down, and a, that's the you know not necessary on most fields, but. The Panthers have been getting offense going, but the Bears' defense is very much stout right now, very much stout. They'll create a turnover, maybe two. Panthers won't be as good on offense as they were the last couple weeks, and their defense, the the pass rush. This is the worst pass rush in football. It'll give give Caleb Williams time, and he'll probably have his best year of his young career, young first year. year? Best game of his young career (laughs) so far. Yeah, yeah. DJ Moore making a lot of faces when he doesn't get the ball, though. I'm not loving that. He's on my fantasy team, but I'm gonna. I was about to trade him. I'm still considering, but revenge game. I'm thinking I'm gonna roll with them this week. This is the deciding factor here. Hmm. No, hmm. Hmm. that's what he does. I don't He's, get the ball. Hmm. Yeah, he, I didn't think he was that guy. I didn't think he was that guy. So I don't know don't if he doesn't like Caleb. Don't be that guy, pal. But um, so the video I do on Monday night is I, I break down kind of how I think each NFL team played in that week, just that week, and I have tiers, and they have grades. You guys don't watch my videos, so that's why I got to explain it. A, B, mm. B, C, C, D, I don't know where I came up with that, C, D, and Panthers. C, D, Lamb. Panthers. Panthers at the bottom, because and that started week one, I thought of that, because how bad they were playing. They are playing a little bit better, so I, I said it in the video. This was... This is, and we can. We'll get to the other other game I'm about to talk about, but it could change from Panthers. If the Panthers get just completely obliterated in this game, I gotta keep it Panthers, right? Mm-hmm. I, but if they lose, even if they lose and they play okay, I know who it's gonna be. And it could be a couple other teams. If the Jags lose to the Colts, mm-hmm. they're under consideration. But we have a shit bowl coming up between the Dolphins and the Patriots, the loser of that game. So you have Panthers versus potentially Jaguars if they lose and the loser of the Patriots-Dolphins game. That will be the new tier. So it's going to be a fun week even for these games, folks. Wow. Wowzers. Speaking of tiers, I cannot wait for Pete's Buy Team Tiers of the Week. That's at the end of the video. Stay tuned. we got loads of content. Make sure you subscribe. Turn notifications on. But that Pete's Buy Team nonsense is, uh, if you don't know what that is, it's a lot of fun. It's at the end of this video. I don't even know what's going on. He doesn't even know. Browns, Commanders, the Browns fell short against the Raiders last week. And how about those Commanders? Yeah. Woo! They're Woo! hot. They are. Give me those Commanders. And those Browns are stinky. Give me those Commanders. Yeah. I mean, they're, the Give Browns, me. I still want to believe in that defense. You know, Miles Garrett's probably going to get after Daniels, make him a little uncomfortable. So we'll see how he responds. But he can escape. He's clutch on third downs. They're starting to get every. I mean, Jeremy McNichols, Pete's a huge McNichols, McNichols guy. Yeah. He started. He 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 went off. So and the defense got going. The Browns' offense line is horrendous. People were complaining like, "Oh, our offense line's terrible." My quarter. It's not my quarterback's fault. Those got everybody that's quarterback struggling saying that. You should watch the Browns and maybe the Patriots' offense lines. Those are the worst offense lines in football right now. Uh, but Commanders really impressed last week against the Cardinals. Hopefully, it's more than like a one or I mean, no, they played more, good for more than one week. But uh, hopefully, it continues here. But not that I'm rooting for them necessarily. I don't really care who wins this game. I just want the most deserving team on Sunday on the field. Whoever's playing the best on the field to win. Mm. But I'm gonna take. It's hard. Give me to, those. Give me those Manders. Manders. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Salamanders all the way. Salamanders. Okay. Everyone's got the the commies. Everyone's got those commies. Okay. <laughs> giving them all all the nicknames. Mm-hmm. Can we say that on here? Commandos. Commandos. I think Old Yeller actually said commandos. Yep, that says commandos. <laughs> Commando. He refuses to call them commanders. He either calls them them the the R word or uh, commandos. Does he say the R word or he does doesn't. he say the words R? They should just no, bring it back. That, I mean, Redskins. they should. The oh. Enough's enough. Just bring it back. I mean, everyone wants it back. You can't. There's even their, their fans want it back. Yeah, but isn't that weird? Now you're gonna go. Whoops. Whoop. Whoop. 
Uh, all right. Yes or no? Is are the is Amari Cooper going to finish the season as a Cleveland Brown? Ooh, it depends on if if they lose this. No, game. No, it's just a yes or no. It's just a yes no. or no. No. He no. thinks he's on a different team. Yeah. Okay. There you have it. Guar- locked in, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. That was a two for. I think so too. Three for. Oh, the Colts and the Jags are wearing those brand new throwbacks. Man, oh. Trevor Lawrence is going to look so good in those. So, so good. good with that hair. <laughs> Oof. All right. Uh, Pete took it a little far. <laughs> give me those. Help give, me, give me the Colts. Give me those Jags. Give no. me those Jags. Oh, Colts are heating up. They Flacco. won. If, if. Hold on though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If. Joe Flacco's playing. I'm taking the Colts. Yeah, that, uh, I'm in that camp too. Oh, I'm in that camp too. I need Flacco. If it's but I like those. Uh-uh. I like the retros coming out playing. for I'm the Jags. The I need something to get them going. Divisional game at home. I think they they get it done. Uh who's Yeller got? He's got the Jags. Wow. So does Jack. Oh, wow. Colts are getting better. They're better the last two weeks than the first two weeks, and that says more about a team usually. The Jags played well last week. They actually played well if they would have punched the ball in from the one-yard line. A terrible call, shotgun, QB draw, awful. They would have probably beat the Texans. Texans completely outplayed them in the fourth quarter. That was about it. You can feel you can feel the Jags' offense get going. Christian Kirk was getting going. It's pretty. It's a pretty good team, good secondary. Uh, defense, you know, again, messed up in the fourth quarter, maybe really early in the game, the middle part they played. They got better last week. Colts are ripping right now. I think the Jags will have success on offense in this game. I think this actually could be a high-scoring game. Jag, those throwbacks are beautiful. I like the old logo, too, if you ask me. I like that old logo maybe better than the newer one, even though the newer one's more modern. Give me the Jags and those throwbacks. We already talked about it. Trevor Lawrence. Gonna He's going to look good. He's going to so feel good. good. He's going to play good. Uh, he hasn't been super great yet. Played a little better last week. I think the Jags. Um, but I didn't even think, yeah, if Joe Flacco plays – I actually think they would have been, they would have won by more if Richardson stayed in the game last week, but mainly because the running aspect against the Steelers. Um, I could be wrong. The running, the running and stuff, you know. Um, but this sure. game, I think oh. maybe they would be better with Joe Flacco. I think you guys might be right, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Jags this game. I think they win because their offense. Actually, believe it or not. Um, so there you have it. Only one on the Colts. That's uh, right. What do we got next? That's I'm right. Losing mouse pad here. Uh, or the graphics guys losing mouse pad. Okay. All right. This is this is the one, guys. Okay. This is the one. Give me the page. Might have to change this one to the Liquid IV game of the week. Give me the, what are you saying? Give uh, me the Patriots. You're taking the Patriots? Yeah. What you got a reasoning for that? Uh, you flipped a coin earlier yeah, and that's what it landed on? Kind of fifty fifty. Oh. This is this is Let me break it down for brutal. you. Actually, I got nothing to break it down. The Dolphins just got shit railed by arguably the worst team. I mean, are they the worst team? The Titans probably not, but they were the worst team going into that week. And they got what did I just say? They got ass. They, yeah, whatever. Uh, I mean, you got to watch myself on YouTube here. Yeah. Uh, the Patriots look like who we thought they were. I think I said that last week too. They they they're pretty bad. They're pretty bad right now. Um. I think a big part – go go ahead, go ahead. Give me the Patriots at home. I just think Gerard Mayo will have a good game plan on defense. Uh, they'll, they'll make sure Tyreek Hill doesn't do anything. And then I know the Patriots offensive line is really bad, but Jalen Phillips is a little banged up right now. I don't know if he's going to play. Um, Bradley Chubb's already – he hasn't been playing at all. I just don't think uh, the Dolphins' pass rush will – He could come back soon. Could I don't, think, come they'll, back I don't think they'll get after – uh, Brissette as much. Uh, give me the Patriots in a in a squeaker here. Yeah, that's a tough one. Going to be tight, very tight. Going to be a field goal kind of game. Field goal kind of game. I think a big reason for the Dolphins getting outplayed against the Titans was it just felt like Huntley was not ready. Like nothing was clicking there. They weren't – you could see they, they weren't organized. I think they'll be much more organized this week. They still have playmakers out there. I know Phillips is probably, you know, going to be out, but they, they had a, quite a few starters out in that Titans game. They could be getting some guys back, monitoring Armstead, um, Kendall Fuller, uh, you know, multiple guys like that. I'll take the Dolphins. Maybe they click a little bit better. They can't stop the run, though. The Patriots can come out and just pound the football, but I do think A-Chan could have a big game in this one. Patriots look like the worst team in football, and so are the Dolphins. I'll take the Dolphins. There's a lot of worst teams in football. What? Is it? Yeah, yeah. What's Yeller got? Yeller has the – we're like all out of order here. Pats got the Patriots. 
And Jack? Jack's got the Dolphins. Okay, Jackie boy. Joining me. Jackie boy. Feeling Jackie good, boy. feeling good. All right, all right. Only two on the good old-fashioned split. We got a lot of different games, it feels like, this week. It's going to be fun. This is what separates the boys from men. It's men from the boys, but yeah. Whatever. Oh, oh, Raiders. A lot of different jerseys, a lot of different uniforms this week. Raiders versus the Broncos in those clean throwbacks. Give me. Zach Wilson's going to look so good oh, in those. Oh, so, so good. good. Give me for three reasons Knicks? here. Give me those Broncos. First reason, those throwbacks. Those are just nice. Mm -hmm. Second reason, Devontae Adams. All this trade talks. Not good for the Raiders locker room here. Third reason. Altitude. Love it, Pete. Altitude. What's their home record this year? <laughs> have they played home? I mean, yeah, have they, have they have. played? I don't. I don't. I think they're. I think they're over. I home. think they might be over. Um, yeah, the altitude's getting the Bo Nix. Well, he's got. He's used to it now. I'm going right? to argue he's your point. They didn't have Devontae Adams last week, and they won. So I'm not really too worried about Devontae Adams. Stuff. Take that, Pete. Take that, Pete. Yeah, but you see. Uh, even you know, if he's playing, I mean, you see Patrick Sertan just locking Garrett Wilson down. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Jets fans aren't gonna like me. Garrett Wilson. He's a good player. He's got a lot of more upside. I think he's extremely overrated. He might be the most overrated player in the league. I don't know. That's what I'm seeing. But good player. Got some I mean, upside. They were, just, they were just blitzing, and they just kept Sertan on an island against him, and then they had some coverage on the other side. Mm. And they could not do anything. This Jets. might be the, this this game and the Sunday night game, the toughest ones to pick, and maybe the Patriots Dolphins. But I think these this one and the Sunday night game. Junior, where are you going? Who are you going with? Taking the Broncos Taking at home. The Broncos at home. Uh, what's Yeller got? Broncos. Jack Broncos. Oh, uh, this is tough. Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf. I'm thinking about it. The Broncos can't beat the Raiders. The Raiders are on a massive win streak against the Broncos. It's been a long time since the Broncos beat them. Yeah, but Bo Nix had seven completions for negative seven. Like, yeah, that's that, like that that's, too. That's just like I mean, it's gonna come down to whoever has the ball last and make can make a field goal. I mean, the the Broncos lose if the Jets get it. I mean, the Broncos was the field goal too at the end, but um, Oh, the Broncos just cannot beat the Raiders. That's one. It is in Denver. They have the altitude. They're playing good ball. The defense is ridiculous lately. Those jerseys. Those, those. Logo. I think if Max Crosby didn't play last week, is he going to play this week? I think he would really get after Bo Nix. I don't know if they do. I don't know if they can do anything on offense, but I don't know if the Raiders could do anything on offense. I think the Broncos run. Uh, I need to know if Max Crosby's playing. So this one, don't lock me into this one yet. I think the Bronco. The difference is the running game. The Raiders' running game got going a little bit more last week, even though they had a fumble for six. I, I do like the. It's not, it's not the best in the world, but I like the Broncos' running game. That that could be the difference in this one. I think Max Crosby could also be the difference. He can get after Bo Nix and just create a a raucous, complete a raucous. raucous win win single handedly win. I'm not even kidding. I think Max Crosby could single handedly win this game. Um, that's good. That's a good That's one. Good. It's a good one. It's good. Raiders, they beat the Browns. They lost to the Panther. That I'm noticing something. They can't play against teams. They struggle against the teams that throw downfield. Boom, they play the Panthers without Bryce Young. Andy, Dal Andy Dalton is throwing the ball downfield. The Ravens don't really do that, and they were able to take advantage. The Broncos don't really do that, so they can stack the box and then play that stout defensive game that they play. And just not allow much at all. And but the Broncos defense I, I don't know how the Broncos defense is as good as it is right now. I know they have the best corner in football. Uh they have some underrated players, Zach Allen, Benito. Uh, you know, there's not a ton. I mean, there's more players than that, but there is not a ton there. Vance Joseph is having the time of his life still. Um That's right. <laughs> Right. Some people probably don't know what the hell we're talking about. That Sergio the real, dip. the real fans. No, Sergio, Sergio dip. Dip. Respect. dip. Rest in peace. He's well, not dead, I don't is think he? He's dead. We just haven't seen him again. Oh, I think he got fired just after that. Um, oh. it's Sorry. a good one. I'm not locked in on that one yet. I need to know if Max Crosby's playing. So it'll be the game we talked about the longest yeah. here. Yeah. All right. I mean those throwbacks. <laughs> the altitude got to us. I think we talked about Zach Wilson more than Bo Nix. I don't know. No, I don't think so. No. Uh. Okay, oh. Cardinals, Niners. Well, I will, even though the Cardinals shit the bed last week, 
Uh, and the Niners look great. The Niners are still beat up. They had more injuries happen in that game. The special teams is a little messy right now. And, I mean, I don't really go off this. Some people do. But if you look at the last few weeks, the Cardinals shellacked the Rams and the 49ers lost to the Rams. So is there something? They're going to look at that film. Is there something they find? And the Cardinals before the Commanders game, they look like a pretty good team, even though they're 1-2. and two. Before now they're 1-3. and three. But, uh, you know, so they might be able to move the ball on this Niners defense, and, you know, and they were just struggling with Daniel's legs, you know, him just escaping. Purdy can do that, not quite just like Daniel's, weird, but. It's a weird game for the Cardinals. Like, it wasn't like. It's just tough to pick the Cardinals, so I'll take the Niners. It wasn't but like Kyler Murray played bad, really. He was like, holding on to the ball too yeah, long, but the offensive line wasn't strange. great. Strange. I'm going to go with the Niners, too. Like, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I think it's a weird one, though. I, I was could, feeling good about the Cardinals all of a sudden. Guess like, the spread in this game. Have you seen it? I have not. What would you think it should be? What do you think makes sense? Um, Again, factor in Niners have some injuries, how they both played against the Rams, but then how they played last week. Five and a half. It's seven and a half. I think that's a bit. That's a lot. It's a, it's a, Give but me I, the Niners. But I also can – there's also a scenario where the Niners just beat their ass. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's always that scenario when you play the Niners. True. I think they can just run the ball and do, yeah. the, do their thing. Mason will probably do their the thing game. here. Uh, Everyone's every, got the Niners. Everybody Niners. Okay. It'd be a total like weird season thing to happen. The Cardinals just win this game, but it like it's not that out there. At the same time, we will see. We will see. Again, score predictions next video. Don't forget it. Subscribe to notifications on. Packers, Rams. I'm gonna go. Ahead. Okay, the Rams are better at home. We saw that they played in Sloppy Soldier. They well early in that game, they're actually moving the ball against really, excuse me, a really good defense, and then they just couldn't put it in the end zone. Um, so if they felt decent for a little bit of that game, and now they're home and they played pretty well, not in the start against the Niners, but they came back and beat the Niners at home. But even with I got I got this feeling inside me right now mm. that this is going to be your ass beating of the week, and the Green Bay Packers are going to get rolling. Second game back for Jordan Love. They started very sloppy. They were sloppy through the end of the Vikings game, but they were still rolling. They were throwing all over them against a good defense. The Rams are, don't forget it, they're still very much beat up. And the Packers are a very talented roster. I need to know if Jair, Jair Alexander's back for that for, for it to be a snot pounding here. That's, that's pretty big. Because Stafford's still great. I mean, Stafford played better than you think in that Bears game. His, his, his weapons were letting him down a bit. Um, he was making some ridiculous throws that really won't show up on the stat sheet. Um, but I, I got a feeling the Packers, uh, LaFleur versus McVay. Uh, LaFleur versus LaFleur. His brother's over there oh. the, on the Rams coming from the Jets. Uh, I got a feeling the Packers roll in this one. I got a feeling. Give me the Packers. Dontavian Wicks, the come up of Dontavian Wicks. And Jaden Reed Jayden already kind of he's he's better, but um, Junior's got the Packers. Yeah, I'm taking the Packers as well. What do you think the line in this game is? I just feel I feel like this is my spread of the week here. Packers are favored by four and a half. It's three and a half. I thought that was low, but you're kind of close there. You're kind of close. I perfect world it being three instead of three in that in that hook because what if they win by three? But yeah, we'll see. We'll have my, my favorite picks against the spread uh, next, and then we have a locks video as well. Everyone's got the Packers here. I think the Rams are just too, too beat injured. Up. And like you said, I mean, the Packers were playing awful at first. and they, I mean, they still, did, they, they still were sloppy, but they came back and almost – Vikings fans are gonna like are gonna like me again, but you you kind of can just feel it. The pack the Packers are probably gonna be better than us at the end of the day, at the end of the year. It's I can't guarantee it, but it's probably gonna happen. I scratched Pete. Yeah, uh, that's what he gets. Uh, but NFC North is ridiculous right now at the top. I mean, those, North then NFC North. And the Lions have a bye this week. God, we have a guest picker that's a Lions fan, and the Lions got a mm. bye. Ah. Uh, it's all right. He did a good job. He did good. Giants, Seahawks. The Giants got a nice little break. They've been, they've been all right. You know, I know they don't have the best record, but they lost to the Vikings in Week One, and they played better the next week against the Commanders. That they, they probably should have won that game, to be honest. Uh, and then they beat up the Browns, and then they play the Cowboys. Top that game could have went either way. Seahawks are really beat up right now, especially on the offense line, and the Giants are getting pressure on teams. That D line is pretty damn nasty, led by sexy Dexy Lawrence. 
And, uh, yeah, you know, he's going to be playing well out there. Brian Burns, K, uh, Tib, Tib start, Kayvon Thibodeau is starting to get going here. So could they get after Geno? The Seahawks are kind of beat up everywhere. I think They're, the Seahawks should sign Tom Thibodeau. For some defense? No, you could, <laughs> no play tackle for him. Oh, okay. No, they signed, hot... they signed Jason Peters. There you go. Brought him back. He's like 42 now. So you're going with the Giants for that reason? Yeah. No, I'm going with the Seahawks here at home. 12th man. Um, tough game against the Lions. You know, I, like I, we were saying in the last video, we wanted to see the Seahawks prove it. Like they were 3-0. and They didn't play anyone very good. Not very offense good quarterbacks. Produced. But this, yeah, the offense is looking great, which is awesome. And now the defense going against Daniel Jones. Give me those Seahawks. Yeah, the, the scare here is that the Seahawks are extremely beat up, but just going off pure matchup, it's a pretty damn good matchup for the Seahawks. Going off pure skill? Pure talent. skill. The, the, the matchup problem, I guess, is that Giants D-line versus the Seahawks O-line, and the Seahawks are beat up. But even with that, the Seahawks are going to be explosive. They're going to make plays, and the Giants are beat up at corner too. They're going to make plays, whether it's on the ground or through the air. And, again, the defense really slipped up last week, but the Lions could be the best offense in football. It's very possible. Uh, the Giants aren't quite them. So I, the, the matchup favors Seattle at home, 12th man. Give me, this, give me the Seahawks. I'm taking the Seahawks as well. I think – I think if the Giants were home here, I'd be taking the Giants, I think. I kind of like that pass rush uh, mismatch. How are you feeling with both those jerseys on? Kind of feels weird, to be honest. Okay. I mean, keep thinking about taking them off. Getting a little warm. Getting a little toasty, yeah. Okay. Everyone's got the Hawks here. The Hawks. All right. All right. Okay. Sunday night. Do they still have those lime green jerseys? Like, do they wear yeah, they got to break Sunday those out. Night. What are they doing? I like the retros the best, though. Oh, those are the best. Sunday night. <sighs> Football, this, uh, the Raiders, Broncos in this game, the toughest games to pick this week. Got the Cowboys going to Pittsburgh. The Steelers were hot 3-0, and but they fell short against the Colts, and now they have a loss. The Cowboys didn't really impress, to be honest, but they, they got some offense going, and they won. And now their two-star pass rushers are injured. Demarcus Lawrence is officially out. He's going to be out for a little bit here, short-term IR at least. And Mike Parsons sounding unlikely that he'll play, and he's never missed a game in his entire football career. So that I can see him being like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play, I'm, I'm gonna go. But I don't think they're gonna let him. Um, you know, so that and the Steelers are beat up on the offensive line. I'm kind of monitoring that situation. Uh, they could be without three of their original starters. I'd imagine they for sure are without one, but probably, and that's Fatanu. But probably, uh, yeah, he's gonna be out. But James Daniels probably as well. Then Sumalo is one to monitor. So the backups, they got some good young young guys that stepped up and they play okay. But no pass rush. And Alex, Smith, Alex Highsmith is, I almost said Alex Smith. Alex Highsmith is also out. He was out last week too. But pass rush injured, offensive line injured. The Cowboys offensive line is not your typical Cowboys offensive line, which is usually really good. It's Struggling, struggling a little bit. And, yeah, again, Highsmith's not out there, but T.J. Watt in a great defense is out there. Um, you know, so it's tough. And I will say I got a – I got a – you know, it was an all-timer last week. The Steelers fans – Steelers fans in the comments were like, we're really getting honest. We all picked the Steelers, but we said it could be a trap game. And the Steelers fans were like, oh, you guys are idiots. You hate the Steelers. And we picked the Steelers, and we're all wrong. I know the Colts won, so I, I – just a little, you get a little out of. Should have picked the Colts because yeah. because I was going to, and their fans and the Steelers fans are they're ruthless. Yeah, I mean it's a little, it's getting a little obnoxious. I mean it's just everybody's like, if you don't pick our team every single week, it's getting like looking like that, you know. Give me the boys. He's taking the Give boys. Give me the boys. The boys are better on the road. They I are. think that ah uh, oh, the pass rushers being out it's tough. No, they're better on the road. If, I trust uh, their offense more, to be honest. I don't know if I do though. I do. I think Fields can run well on the – the Cowboys' run defense picked it up last week, actually. They, they kind of slowed down uh, Singletary so on, the, on the ground, at least. Give me mm. – I'm going to take the Steelers if Parsons is out. Uh, he's probably going to be out. Okay, so give me the Steelers. At home on Sunday night, that place is crazy. Like, those, those fans we're talking about, they're crazy there. They're going to be waving that terrible towel around. It's going to be nuts. Um, it's going to be a low-scoring game. I just think Dak's going to be – struggling, like just getting pass rushed by Watt. 
He's only got CeeDee Lamb to go to. Nobody else there. <laughs> Can't run the ball. Mm, I think I doubt it'll go in a little bit yeah. last week. It's a tough one because it could be a, just a field goal fest. And who do you, who do you, they got two top kickers here. Aubrey versus Boswell. Who do you go with? I back and forth when I first saw this and I saw I knew that the, both Cowboys pass rushers were out. I was leaning Steelers, but have the Steelers seen the, the Cow, uh, people are ripping the Cowboys and Dak, but the offense is still explosive. It's still very explosive. And the Steelers haven't really seen that. They played the Falcons week one. The Falcons clearly weren't ready, and credit to the Steelers for that. But um, mm, this is tough. Well, who's Yeller going with? He's got the Steelers. Who's Jack going with? He's got the boys. Got the boys. Got a good old-fashioned split. I need to see who's playing. The Steelers could be, again, could be without three offensive linemen. Zimmer could draw something up. I need to know if Kalen Carson's back. That's not really a big – it's a rookie, not really a big-time corner for the Cowboys, but better than the alternatives. It was kind of a disaster last week. Uh, and then Diggs was out at, at one point too, but he'll be back. Um, mm, mm. This is so tough. I, when I first saw the matchup, I was thinking Steelers. Now I'm leaning Cowboys just because the explosiveness on offense – and every Steelers game is close. It's guaranteed to be close, but I'm gonna trust that I'm gonna trust that explo- more explosive offense to make that extra play right now, but ah, I don't have any pass rushers. Okay, okay, okay. The primetime games have been a little easier to pick. This one's tough. The primetime games have gone normal. If the Cowboys had their edge rushers, I'd be like the Cowboys would win this game. Like, I'd be all in. Cowboys 100%. And the Steelers have injuries too, but they kind of catch a break with that because if their both teams are fully healthy, the Cowboys are winning this game. They're, they're winning. So it, that, that makes a little. Nealon looks pretty good. He's going to get some, some starter reps here. This is one I'm not locking in either uh, yet, but mm, let's do it. Lean in, lean in the Cowboys let's offense in this one. That's. This is the comeback week right here. Road dogs. No, Pete. No, you're about to dig yourself a grave. Monday night football, the Saints and the Chiefs. The Chiefs already don't have Pacheco. Now they don't have Rasheed Rice. Not a whole lot of running game. Not a ton of trustworthy receivers. That's pretty tough. Saints started off like the best team in football. They're going a little south, but they still make some plays. Uh, defense is still very solid. The Falcons didn't do a whole lot on offense, so the Saints defense can still play very well. Patrick Mahomes is not playing that great right now, but at home, prime time, Saints run a lot of man coverage. The, the speed Chiefs of the Chiefs. Always home in prime time. Will, they will find a way, and Spagnola has that defense to take yeah. down a team he was former, formerly with. Oh, revenge game. I'll take the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. A lot of revenge games. Give me the Chiefs. Everyone's going with the Chiefs. Everyone's even though going it's, with the Chiefs. I think it should be a pretty good game, but I think – Chiefs know they got to get Kelsey going. They're going to get Kareem Hunt going here as well. Are they just going to do it? Are they going to do it? What does that mean? They're just going to do it. Okay. Repeat yeah. again. Yeah. Again, again, again. <laughs> well, all right. Anything else on that one before we get to the the man of the hour? Uh, I think the man of the time. hour. <laughs> the man of the hour. The man in the middle. I don't middle. even know what I'm getting myself into here. So if you're new... Every year we have Pete do something a little. He does something a little special yeah! for the buy. Ooh, let me, let me throw up the buy teams. Sticky. Let me throw up the buy teams. There you have the buy teams: Eagles, Lions, Titans, Chargers. Pete's Titans are up there. So every year we always come up with something. It, it used to be different. It used to be uh, you have to pick your favorite player. One year is your favorite fat ass on each team. Uh, food, favorite food from that city or something like you know. And last stadium. year, stadium. Last year we did this. <clears throat> very similar. Pete put his t- put these teams in the tiers, and they weren't necessarily rankings and how good they they are. You know, it was uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just kind of it's kind of random. It's up to Pete, and he you know doesn't really prepare for it. So you have teams or tiers, excuse me, a little different this year than last year. But Pete's buy team of the week is still up there. And a fun fact. Ever since we've been doing Pete's, you know, asking Pete about buy teams, he's never picked a buy team of the week. And me and Junior, even before Pete could start, we picked buy teams of the week. Pete never picks one. So he didn't put any in that tier last year. I changed the next one. That one was better luck next year. Now it's just snot pounders. People love when I say that on Twitter. So some snot pounders. pounders. And I think one team up there kind of fits that description. And then you got decent at best. They're decent at best. And I added stinky. I thought, you know, there's a stinky team. And criminally, so bad that it's criminal. But because of the Titans are up 
there this week. We Pete's not going to like this. We tweaked it a little bit. Instead of criminally bad, we're going to go Will Levis. We got a Will oh. Levis tier in there. And you feel free to put All any right. any team, not no. just the Titans, no, but no, me and Junior got to go first. Oh. Uh, we actually pick who wins the bye week real oh. quick. Uh, I think a winner of the bye week is plain and simple. Oh, actually, it's not plain and simple. It's a battle between the Eagles and the Chargers mm-hmm. because they have a chance to get healthy. They're both very, very beat up. I think it's more important to a team that's that's a little has a little bit more on the line this year. That's the Eagles. So I say the Eagles win the bye week after that ass pound and they got against the Buccaneers. Get healthy. Get right. Hurts needs to get his get his get stuff ripe. together. I saw something funny. It was like Jalen. It was a tweet. Jalen Hurts, if he didn't have receivers and had a bad O line, and it was a picture of Daniel Jones in an Eagles jersey. Mm. Yeah. So now he, I thought it was funny. I don't That's necessarily agree, but okay. What do you, who, who's winning the bye week? You? Um, I'll split it. I'll go with the Chargers. I think right. that the most important position in football is the quarterback, and the Chargers just don't have a healthy quarterback, and he needs this time off. I'm... Maybe the Titans quarterback needs some time off, but do we want him to come back in? He's no. in that bottom tier. And no, the Titans are definitely the losers of the bye week because they finally won a game, and now they're going to go cold. But Jeffrey Simmons is hurt too, so I, mean, I don't know. Maybe they're not total, total losers. Now it's time for Pete. Let's go, Pete. What do you got? You had some time to think about it. I don't know. There's nothing. I don't think there's anything. Uh, anything that's 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 gonna be. We had some funny with this one here. Great moments know. last year. Do not do not ruin it for you us. Can't make fun of the Lions. I think the Lions. I mean, I I, I think I, I was saying it yesterday. I'm I'm a Lions fan now. I think I'm a Lions fan. <laughs> I love their jerseys. They got the. I think they might have the best jerseys in the in the league right now. Uh, I like the black ones they had on, but the blue ones are just the best. Um, but the and they're they're just they're just snot pounders. That's that's yeah, what their head there. That's what their head coach is. That's what this team is. I guess I could have titled it kneecap biters. That would have been pretty funny. I love how this, did I not uh, think of that? I just love their philosophy. Snot I love their philosophy. I feel like they're tough on defense, like they're gonna play you physical and then on offense too, like they're gonna pound the ball with their two backs and then Jared Goff, eighteen for eighteen last night, like being efficient, hitting play action shots. I love the way they play. Um Big fan of Lions. I think they have a chance to to be uh, a suitable champion here. So, okay. feel good about them. Um, well, what should we go with next here? If you guys watching at home, if you want to change the name of these tiers, if you got better ideas, let us know in the comments. We're open Let's to switching. Let's pull them. the Eagles over here. I think the Eagles are decent at best. I mean. I- I'm not buying into the Eagles yet. I don't like their coach at all. I don't think he's a good coach. I think he got carried by his coordinators when they went uh, when they went far. Um, he had to change all of his coaches here again. Um, I don't like his attitude after the games and all the the, the, the trash talking he does and all he that stuff. He might think he's a player. I don't know. Yeah, might... I'm not a fan of Sirianni at all. Um they and again, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of I don't hate Jalen Hurts. I'm not a big fan of him though. Like you're saying, I think he relies hev- like heavily on his weapons. Like his offensive line is always really good. He's got Barkley now. He's got AJ Brown, Devontae Smith. If they can't, you know, be a contender this year. Like that's gonna be on him. I think the defense is a lot better too for them. Um, so that's on him. Chargers. Saving the best for last. Yeah. I don't know where to put the Chargers. They buy like, your buy team of the week? No. Is they, anybody going to be there? No one's the buy team of the week. There's no, get, buy, there's no buy team of the week. There's just no such thing. How, how would it get you, though? Nobody wins the bye week. <laughs> Nobody. Pete, where are the Chargers, dude? I don't know. Where, I mean, what do you guys think of the Chargers here? Stinky. It's, I love it's, Harbaugh. It's not always about how the team is. You came up with some good random no, things last I know. year. No, <clears throat> I they're injured. They got Harbaugh. He puts on receiver gloves. You think those receiver gloves get stinky? Does he use the same? Ooh, Does that's he use that's the... that's a good point right there. I might they might have to be. I it should be Riz's Yeah, body. you should be. <laughs> that is a good point. Does he change? I bet he gets new gloves every week. He probably gets new ones. He only probably just uses them just for pregame and that's I it. I bet you he still got the same one since Pee Wee football. I don't know. I probably. can see him handing them out to the fans. He's a man of the people. He is a man of the people. Um, I love when he like starts punching Herbert before every before every game. They starts. wonder why he's banged up. Yeah, <laughs> he's hurting his own yeah. his own quarterback. Start punching him in the ankle. Um, I think the Chargers made a mistake too. Like I'm a big Joe Alt fan, but they should have taken Malik Neighbors and given Herbert some someone to go to with the ball. That was I think that's a mistake. 
Um, give me the Titans here. Give they're not going on Will Levis. Uh, you know what? They'll they'll go on Will Levis. You know why? Because Pete doesn't think Will Levis is that bad. I don't think he's that bad. I think he's shown flashes. He show, showed flashes last year. He's got a whole new scheme to learn. He's getting used to it. Does he know what football is? He does know what football is. <laughs> he's a baller. He's he's a gamer. I trust him. I think he big baller brand. <laughs> he's uh he's a guy that does a lot of a lot of film work, just a lot of grinding mentally about the game. I think he's trying to get better, wants to get better. There's no point of playing Mason Rudolph. You're gonna go six and eleven with Mason Rudolph. Six and eleven. He's Not one even and oh. Five and five and twelve with Mason Rudolph. Will Levis, I mean, I don't think they're gonna go to the playoffs or anything like that, but you gotta see what he is. You gotta give him a chance. It's a good point. It's a good you gotta point. Gotta give him a chance. I like, mean that interception to Ogbo was pretty terrible. It was pretty terrible. I like, don't know. I don't know how he was like Whoever the I forgot who the announcer was, he made a really good point. He's like, I don't even know how he saw DeAndre Hopkins. Ogbo was that's who he was throwing that's to. That's what I mean. He, but Ogbo was just in his way. And like then Levis looked, was like, I didn't even see him. I was like, I didn't see him at all. I was like, how did you not see he him? He was staring like, him down and just threw it right to him. That's a defensive think, lineman. That's a massive defensive lineman. I don't know. I just think he Go about like needs, 290, 285, 280 minimum. I think it's like 275. I, I think it's I think it's Callahan's system. I just think a little complex. There's yeah, I think there's there needs to be a balance. Like Levis, I feel like last year was just just out there balling, just making plays, yeah, I like saw good things. taking I taking shots downfield, like letting the cannon loose. Uh now he's like I think he's like pre-snap he's reading coverages and like he's choosing a side he wants to go to and then he's like almost predetermining where he wants to go with the ball based on coverages because that's what Callahan's system is it's like it's supposed to be like half the field like this side of the field is supposed to beat this coverage this side of the field is supposed to beat this coverage so he pre predetermines it and then just throws it without even seeing a, a defensive end dropping into the into the into the flat there so I think uh he just needs more time I think he'll be okay. All right. All right. We'll we'll, we'll we'll see. Who do they got after the bye? They got the Colts. Okay. Where's it at? I think it's in Indy. I'm not sure though. I think it's in Indy. This is our Colts. This is our team. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll have to bring him up for the uh, the guest picker. Yeah, we'll bring him for the guest picker. No, I have to bring him up for the bye week when the Colts are on a bye week. Oh. Criminally bad. That song is criminally bad. Song oh, the Titans are home. Don't worry, they're home, in boys. In Tennessee. They're home. Get it going. But they will get one in Indy, right? Yes. Yes. That was a joke. Bad joke. Criminally bad. Criminally. Well, okay. That's going to wrap it up for week five pickums. We'll be back next week with week six, six pickums. Yes, right? Yes. Week We're flying. Six. We're seasons flying, but we got a lot of it left. We got all kinds of content. Hope you join us. Turn turn uh, those notifications on. Subscribe. Like the like button, as I like to say. Yeah. Like the like. Like button. that like button. Okay. And that'll do it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.